Happy Friday, soul travelers, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Melissa here with you to give you a reading for the Fay Friday from the Fairy Oracle, Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle cards. We are coming to you in the moon sign of Gemini. I just have to say that um, before I came on, I was getting this energy of celebrating. So Gemini, it is Gemini season. Happy birthday to all the Geminis out there. But there may be somebody celebrating today and uh, having a little fun this weekend. So congratulations to you for whatever reason that is you're celebrating. If it's a birthday, whether it's, a, you know, something that you've accomplished, kudos to you. We're going to tap into the psychic tarot and then the vice versa tarot to see what's going on with the energies. Go, get into the forest fay to see what is the advice from the forest magical beings moving ahead for this day as well as a lover's oracle card of course to see what is going on in the realm of love all right guys hopefully you've seen your weekly messages they are out so do check them out and thank you for all of your likes subscribes comments and shares it's been fun to engage with you in the comment section and now we want to thank our ancestors way showers and guides and Break up all that dense, dark energy. Bring us that wisdom, dear Faye, that we need this day. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Beautiful and happy Friday. And I do have something to celebrate. Look at this, guys. I am officially a hypnotist. Yes, the National Guild of hypnotists. I'm going to be doing a lot of good works with that. And so do look out for that. If you want to check out my uh, website, it is still a little bit under the works or under construction, however you would say that, but it is called happy medium hypnosis. All right. Just like the term happy medium. So happy medium hypnosis.com. So let us now get into the fairy oracle, the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle. Let's see what's going on for the energies of this Friday for our collective. What shall we speak of this day? <laughs> All right, the glimpse card. Ooh, we got some peaking energies. I'm not quite sure. Checking out the scene, seeing what's going on here before we make our grand entrance, perhaps. Indigo, rainbow, crystal children, and beyond. Wow, I feel like many of us are emerging at this time. And funny that we were getting that confe uh, the confetti colors, you know, is like the rainbow. And I feel like so many of us are coming together and maybe celebrating at this time. And maybe that is a celebration that I was seeing um, where it's kind of like that tribe kind of energy where you're coming together and having one of those EDM, is that what you call it? One of those kind of, you know, just very high charged kind of, but spiritual, you know, gatherings. And that would be really cool to see, wouldn't it? Maybe somebody's putting something like that together. This card is a 34. You're definitely, you know, rising higher. I feel like you're spending a lot more time alone, perhaps. Really getting to know yourself, you know, which is really good because this is going to help you to understand, you know, maybe why you feel different from other people. Because if you're watching readings, you obviously, you know, connect on a different level. You look into things a lot more. You're curious, you know, about the unseen aspect of things. You know, there's a reason for that because there is that part of us that is unseen that we need to understand within ourselves as well as with other people, you know? Look at this guy, he's just like peeking. He's checking out the scene. This fairy is a scout. He is looking through the borderlands into the human world, keeping a lookout for the opportunities to glimpse people who have magics about them. Ooh, so they're, you're being checked out in the other realms, all right? In the unseen realms, 444. You're getting ready to be initiated because somebody is going to see you, all right? This means that, you know, a magical connection or initiation of some sort into more of your uh, 
you could say magical, psychic, however you want to see it in that sense, but it's tapping into those unseen aspects, all right? New generations are coming, say the fairy wise ones, and he is so willing to share and learn from and with them. In truth, of course, we are all magical, but there are also children and young adults around today who are more open and ready than generations preceding them. That's probably who you are, and that's what we call those, the indigo, rainbow, and crystal children. Look those in, you know, that up and get more information on it if you feel drawn to it. And do hit the like button if you know that you're one of these such starseed children. The fairies seek these beings so that they can establish connections with them, yes, to do that higher work for sure. These new children are easy to recognize if you know the signs to look for. Sometimes called indigos, these children are peaceful warriors and activists with a deep love of nature. They are highly sensitive and can discern very easily whether people are telling the truth or trying to fool them. Some feel they are an evolutionary leap into what we humans are becoming. All right, so you're helping by your example as an indigo child to show, you know, the people who are less evolved the way to be, the more compassionate aspect. Ask this fairy and he may say that the children he is looking out for are simply Hold on a second. Are simply aware of who they truly are. So that's you. If you're aware of who you truly are and you want to help the greater good on a whole, you know, within you, that is like a kind of like an overarching kind of energy. And you are one of these people. Others, older, magical ones, are more sacred. They have had years of being told they are not normal. So this fairy watches for them too. So they can be communicated with clearly and told that they are not mad, but clear, able to hear and see. These beings will return from this meeting with the scalp, with a vastly expanded sense of all that is. They will return from the meeting vastly more connected to their own spiritual truths. They will believe their intuition after this meeting. They will know when they are being told the truth and when they are being lied to, just as they always have. But they will no longer be filled with self-doubt. So, you know, you may have been feeling like Perhaps you have been receiving and having that knowing within yourself whenever people are not being honest with you. And maybe people have been trying to make you feel like you're not, or like you're crazy, you know, that you don't know what you're talking about. You're being too sensitive. You're looking into things too much, you know, that kind of thing. Sorry, I needed a drink of water. <laughs> But no, there's nothing wrong with you. You're not mad, you know? You're feeling it on a deeper level. You're sensing it. You can tell whenever something is off and there's nothing wrong with you. So Spirit is helping you to be able to tap into that even more to be able to keep yourself protected. So you're being watched over and perhaps you're going to be connecting with within yourself, receiving messages, receiving something in nature through uh, passed on loved ones, some kind of message to help you, all right? It is time to cease eating fast food and accepting authorities' messages simply because they are in charge. It is time to find your own inner authority and to take action to change the planet in healthful, healing ways. Time to transmute your anger into poli about politics, ego, and repressive regimes by taking meaningful and peaceful action for what you believe in. Seeing straight through illusions and speaking your truth needs to start now.
you have been seen by the fairies as one of the evolving human, human ones. And as such, you are responsible to your own inner truth, not to any exterior source or authority. Refuse to be dictated to. All right, we got that revolution card earlier this week on Monday, remember? Sacred revolution. This is being who you truly are and standing up for yourself and not allowing others to dictate your life, the direction of your life any longer. I feel many of us have been really stepping into our personal power and, and standing up for what we believe in, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> Refuse to be dictated to. Protect nature and gentle people, and you will come into happiness and balance. You are part of a new world, one which we are currently growing into. The more honest and true you are, the better off this planet and her inhabitants and life forms will be. So we're setting a new paradigm of being honest with ourselves, being able to do so, standing in our power, you know, not feeling afraid to. Uh, many people, 1111, are standing in their power at this time. And many people are being called out as well for how they have taken, you know, abused their power. And this is a time when we really can allow ourselves to be part of that power, you know, um, that whole energy. It, it's almost like a, a collective energy, if you will. We can add to and be a part of this power, this change right now that's happening with these indigo, you know, children, rainbow and crystal children, we're seeing through and, you know, we're standing up now more together than we have ever in the past and saying no to these bullies and people who, you know, constantly feel like it's okay to be spiteful and deceitful and cause heartbreak and different things like that. You know, all these things that we see in soap operas and bad reality shows and things like that, you know, but now it's time to say no more. We're not sacrificing. We deserve to do this healing process by, you know, us being able to take our power back and others, you know, being able to have to, you know, accept the responsibility for how they have misused their power. So I see a lot of celebrations perhaps in that way because all of us are being able to come out more so now and not have to be in hiding, not have to feel like we're the minority. Wow, isn't that interesting? But I do feel like there's definitely people who are going to continue to, you know, put up that resistance and try to cause you to feel conflicted about standing up for yourself, about being strong, making that decision. Maybe they don't want you to have this positive movement forward and they're trying to affect that, you know, by keeping you confused is what I was seeing with this. Yeah, but this is you needing to trust in the universe, all right? To to, um, how do they say that, to dictate your steps, to show you the way forward, all right? This is a new territory for you, and this is going to really require you <clears throat> to make the right choices in a lot of different areas of your life, whereas in the past you may not have, because, you know, you're not you haven't experienced a lot of happiness and success, it feels like, as of current. Everything so far has been in reverse. And we really do need to be honest with ourselves about, you know, how things have been going and, you know, do we want to continue to be unhappy and not be able to rejoice because we're allowing these people to continue to keep us in this state, not allowing us to feel peace but that starts within us and understanding our truth our power so let's see what the clarifiers have coming out for all of these cards today again this is us being able to tap into that power almost like that revolution energy waving our banner and our flag high you know we're not the outcast we're not the black sheep we just have our own unique 
uniqueness as everyone does. Positive movement forward and reverse. Coming out is the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way that you can have positive movement forward if you're not dealing with someone that, you know, we're in a dynamic where it's give and take equally, 15-15. With that six energy, that is all about equality. And perhaps that's why things haven't been able to move forward, you know, and for us to celebrate because we constantly feel like there's always this dictator type of energy trying to decide, you know, our steps. And if we get to move forward, if we get to have happiness, maybe trying to put an end to our happiness as soon as it begins, you know, but we know the truth of what we deserve is what I feel here today. Universe in reverse. Justice. Yes. This is going to help you to balance it all out. If you'll just trust the universe to help you, all right? It may not seem that way in the immediate, like, you know, how is just having trust in the universe going to do this? But it absolutely will help you to move to the calmer waters, to the greener pastures, all right? So where your happiness truly lies. Because if you're not happy now, then we've got to make those different choices. If we keep making the same ones that we have, that blindfold is going to continue to stay on for us, all right? We're going to continue to be silenced instead of continue to, instead of do our healing process, right? To be unstuck, not only personally, but as a whole, as the universe, you know? Because <clears throat> what we're dealing with personally, you know, in our personal lives, and as a collective are generally going to be about the same so if we can do the right thing if you will in our personal lives and not allow these people to have that control <coughs> in whatever ways that we're able to to have that victory to have that success but otherwise we're going to continue to feel like others have that victory over us woof love this energy beautiful absolutely working on turning this around victory and success in the reverse we got the star and devil in reverse Whew, we broke some chains there good to see and it was hard it's always hard to break those toxic patterns and addictions to people and to do that healing process but you knew and you know that that's the only thing that's really going to help you to break these karmic cycles all right and not always have to feel defensive start working on something that's really going to bring you something more is that you today hit the like button if it is especially if you're an indigo rainbow or crystal child and do put which one you are in the comment section if you don't mind truth in reverse coming out yeah for sure the truth is someone doesn't want you to be victorious but the truth is you deserve to be victorious especially if you're a good person you don't deserve to be confused and dealing with somebody who wants to keep you trapped all right, nobody deserves that. We all deserve to be free. All right, so what is the Forest Fay card coming out for us today? Some advice from our beautiful friends moving forward. Yep, we deserve to be happy for sure. So the spiny sister says, take pride in yourself. Yeah, other people may not like it. It may seem like you're being a little porcupiney or prickly, you know, that you're not being quite so lovey as you used to be. But, you know, sometimes we got to draw ourselves back and make these people see that it's got to be balanced and fair. And we know that deep within ourselves and allow the universe, mama, cosmic justice, mott, right, to balance all of that out. We just got to remember where we draw our power from, calm ourselves down, go within and call on that help. Even though you can't see it, it's there. You just got to do it. New beginning. Wow, the dove is coming out to bring peace today. There is a new beginning. And it says a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams 
passionately. Wow. So there you go. Everything's going to work out just fine. Allow spirit to assist you. Love yourself. You are a divine being, especially if you resonate with this energy and do hit the like button. If you do subscribe guys, because you are this indigo rainbow crystal child star seed energy absolutely you deserve the best blessings to you for your day ahead happy weekend 2020 on the timer i'll see you soon bye for now